What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Blake. You're watching The Aqua Papa, where we're going to be going over how to do aquarium maintenance, how much of the fish tank you should clean, the things you will need for the aquariums, and just how I change the water on all four of my tanks. First off, we'll start with the things you need. I use a python, which this hooks up to the sink and sucks the water out. I'll show you how that goes. You can also use a regular siphon and siphon it into buckets and bring it to like outside in the garden or put it in the bathtub and let it drain or put it in the toilet, but that's a hassle. This is way better, total game changer. We will also need test strips. Test strips just tell you when you should be changing your water change, but that's iffy and I'll explain later. You will also need a bottle of Prime. Prime neutralizes chlorine, chloramines, ammonia, nitrates, and nitrate. It makes the water coming out of the sink safe for your fish. Something else that I use, I use aquarium salts. This just helps improve gill function. It's basically like Gatorade for fish. It's just electrolytes. I will also be using my Hyger 6-in-1 aquarium cleaning tool. I'll leave everything that you see here. I'll leave a link in the description for you. This thing's pretty great. I can't imagine without it now that I have it. And last but not least, I'll be using a Magic Mind. What's Magic Mind, you ask? Magic Mind is a two ounce productivity drink. That's right, a tiny little drink that boosts your cognitive focus. I drink Magic Mind every day with my morning coffee, especially on water change day. Ever since my accident, I've been very forgetful and easily distracted. The last thing I need is to forget something and potentially harm my fish or crash my cycle or any of the things that can go wrong during a water change. But Magic Mind helps me keep my brain on task. So now you're probably wondering, what's in it? Well, it's got vitamins B, C, and D3, lion's mane mushrooms, and quarter mushrooms, and my favorite, the stress-reducing ashwagandha. These little bottles are basically just bottles of vitamins, nootropics, and electrolytes. They're amazing. So how to start using Magic Mine? You can either replace it with your coffee, or do what I do and drink it with your morning coffee. I'll be honest with you, I can't just simply give up my morning coffee. That's not gonna happen. But ever since I started adding Magic Mind to my morning ritual, things have been crazy different. It's been wild. About 20 minutes after I finish my coffee, I like want to get up. I'm wide awake, I'm energized, and I feel like doing something. I don't really know how to describe the feeling, but it, you know, you just sometimes you want to do something, anything. And once I get up and start moving around and start doing something, I found that I stay focused on that task, which is kind of weird because I've never been focused on any task. I procrastinate a little bit, sometimes. So if you're tired of groggy mornings and fuzzy midday crashes and you want to stay wide awake and focused, get yourself some Magic Mind. I know I enjoy it, and I think the fish do too. So if you would like to improve your cognitive focus, quit caffeine, or improve your memory, maybe even all of them, make sure you stop by Magic Mind's website, www.magicmind.co, and use the code THEAQUAPAPA20 to save 20% on your order of Magic Mind, or as I think of it, you'll be saving 20% on your self-improvement. Now let's get back to the tanks. The first thing we'll be using is test strips. To be honest with you, if I were a newer fish keeper, I would get a master test kit. It is a little bit more money, but it's far more accurate. I personally use test strips because I have an understanding Understanding that it is a little bit less accurate the way you use test strips is you take one and you swirl it around in the water real quick and then you take it out and you let it sit for 30 seconds and then you take your bottle and you compare the colors on the test strip to what's on the bottle here I'm using Hyger 8-in-1 test strips they test for pH hardness ammonia nitrate nitrite chlorine which is nice carbonate root and total alkalinity here we're a little high in nitrate, but that's okay because we can fix that with a simple water change. Now I'm going to test the other aquariums. We'll go to Douglas's tank and do the same process. Take a test strip out, put it in the tank, swirl it around a little bit, take it out, and then compare after about 30 seconds. Now that we've waited 30 seconds, we're going to compare this to the chart that we are supplied with. All of these things generally have a chart. Even the master test kit has charts with it as well. And we'll see that we're high a little bit in the nitrate. Other than that, everything's fine. I could leave this, but I'm going to do a water change anyways. Now let's get to the other tanks. So as it turns out, I probably wouldn't do a water change on the 10 gallon 
it's pretty perfect. And the five gallon looks like this, so we're not even gonna test it. We're just gonna clean it. So we're gonna do a 50% water change here on the 75 gallon aquarium. And since I have sand, I'm not really gonna gravel back. You can just take the gravel back and go over the top lightly, but I have really good circulation in this tank. So all the filters pick up all the detritus and poop and stuff. And this is exactly why I love my Hyger six in one tool because right now I am cleaning all of the glass of algae. The Red Texas hates this thing with a vengeance. Here's what makes the Hyger six in one, six and one, and very useful. It comes with a fishnet, a gravel rake, a right angle sponge to get the corners of your aquarium glass, a razor blade to get that pesky algae off, a flat sponge, and a tube brush. Tube brushes are very useful when you need them. And if you've seen any other video on YouTube about these things, you would be worried because they say you can't get replacement heads. But I asked Hager myself and they gave me this link that showed me this right here, which is replacement heads. When it comes to cleaning the inside of your aquarium, you wanna use soft things, but coarse, like the sponges on these. But if you don't have the Hyger six in one tool, you can use things like a sponge that's never been used before, or a face cloth, or a Mr. Clean magic eraser. That works really good. Or even a razor blade. Just be careful not to scratch your glass. That's all. And it's also a good idea to do this while you're emptying the aquarium so it can get knocked into the water column and then sucked out by the siphon because scraping it off and then just filling the tank and spreading it all around is just gonna make the algae spread and probably even grow faster. Now before I start adding water to the tank that's filled with chlorine and chloramines, I'm gonna add some prime. What prime does is it detoxifies. It doesn't take out or eliminate. It just detoxifies ammonia, nitrate, nitrite, chloramines, and chlorine. It essentially just makes tap water safe for the fish. And it does some other things, but we'll talk about those in another video. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to check that out. Now let's see how the Python hooks up. So there's a little adapter piece that you connect to the sink by screwing it on and then you attach the Python to that just by pulling down this piece here and you slide it on and then it clicks in. Now to get the water to come out of the tank, you want this piece here down and then you gotta turn on the water to cause suction. Once you've sucked all the water out of the tank that you're going to, you wanna lift the end in the tank, out of the tank, and let it suck all of the water out, so then you can do what I'm doing here, which is getting the temperature similar to what's in the tank already. Then once the temperature's similar, all you have to do is twist this and push it up. Now all the water is going through this here hose, across to my house floor, up and into the tank. Now I angle mine to shoot this way, so when I turn on the filter, it goes the other way, just to mix in all of the salt that's melting in there and the prime really well, so it neutralizes all the chlorine and chloramines and everything's all equally mixed. Now it's time for the aquarium salts. Aquarium salts provide essential electrolytes for freshwater fish to reach peak coloration and vitality, and it also improves gill function. Ideally, you wanna add one rounded tablespoon for every five gallons of water, but I like to assume that two handfuls is roughly 15 rounded tablespoons for this aquarium. Then you just throw it in there and let it start dissolving into the water. Now you're just filling it up before you plug everything back in. Once your heater and everything is covered in water, you can plug it back in. I should explain that when you're doing water changes, you need to unplug your heater and your filter so they don't burn out and or explode. Now we're on to Douglas's tank. I take my other Hyger 6-in-1 aquarium tool and I brush all of the poop and leftover food over to one side of the aquarium where my filter usually sucks it all up. Now, as you can see, Douglas's tank is a bare bottom aquarium and that requires slightly different maintenance. So we'll get into that in another video. But for now, we still gotta do a water change. But instead of a 50% water change, we're just gonna do a 20. All of my water changes are usually either 20% or a 50% water change. Every aquarium I have gets a 20% water change three times a month and a 50% water change once a month. Other than this aquarium, most of the time this just gets 20% every week. Now onto the last tank, the five gallon pea buffer tank. We got this bucket here. We're just gonna drain some water from this tank with a siphon out and hopefully suck out some of the black hair algae as well. First things first, always remember to unplug your heater and your filter. Now time for a little suction and we're gonna try to get all the black hair algae we can as possible 
it's really fast though it's going to be difficult to get all of it like this is real time this isn't sped up it just drains very fast but we're getting a lot of the black hair algae out look at all that nasty black hair algae and that's just what was loose or loosely attached to something now all we got to do is fill it up it's just simple you just don't want to pour too hard to mess up all the plants at the bottom it is going to get a little bit dirtier this way. You're going to kick up some of the stuff that you missed because the suction from the siphon was so fast. And there we are. A clean pufferfish tank. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. And don't forget to check out some Magic Mind. Remember, magicmind.co. Use the coupon code THEAQUAPAPA20 to save 20% on your self-improvement. Until next time, guys, peace. <laughs>